It is hypothesized that a substantial amount of the total matter in the universe is composed of a mystery element referred to as dark matter. Because it does not interact with light or any other forms of electromagnetic radiation, it is referred to as a dark substance. This property makes it impossible for telescopes and other instruments that detect light to see it. The gravitational effects of dark matter on visible stuff have led researchers to deduce the presence of dark matter, but the question of whether or not dark matter is entirely genuine still has to be answered. The evidence suggesting the presence of dark matter is extremely convincing. The studies of the rotation curves of galaxies provide one of the most convincing lines of evidence. The rotation curve is a representation showing the orbital velocity of stars or gas in a galaxy as a function of their distance from the galactic center. This distance is a function of the rotation curve. The velocity of objects in a galaxy should, in accordance with the principles of classical Newtonian mechanics, decrease with increasing distance from the galactic center. Just as the velocity of planets in the solar system decreases with increasing distance from the Sun. However, Research conducted on a large number of galaxies has demonstrated that the velocity of objects in the more distant areas of the galaxy either does not change or even rises with distance from the galactic core. Only the presence of a significant amount of dark matter, which is a form of material that cannot be seen, can account for this peculiar pattern of behavior observed in the galaxy. Observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is the radiation that was left over after the Big Bang, provide yet another line of evidence for the existence of dark matter. These findings reveal minor changes in the temperature of the radiation, which are assumed to be generated by variations in density in the early cosmos. These variations are thought to have been created by the expansion of the universe. The pattern of these fluctuations is compatible with the presence of a significant portion of dark matter that does not interact with other particles, also known as cold dark matter. Some scientists have offered alternate ideas that may explain the observable gravitational effects without the necessity for dark matter. This is despite the fact that there is an overwhelming amount of evidence pointing to the presence of dark matter. MOND stands for Modified Newtonian Dynamics, which is one of these theories. On sizes much bigger than those that can be detected in our solar system, the laws of gravity may behave in a somewhat different way, according to this idea. This altered gravity may be able to explain the observed rotation curves of galaxies without the need to invoke the existence of dark matter. However, MOND has not been able to explain all of the facts that support the existence of dark matter, nor has it been able to make any successful predictions that have been confirmed by future observations. In addition, it has not been able to account for all of the observations that support the existence of dark energy. On the other hand, the theory of dark matter has been very successful in describing a wide range of observations, ranging from the rotation curves of galaxies to the large-scale structure of the universe. This success can be attributed to the theory's ability to account for the properties of dark matter. In conclusion, the evidence supporting the existence of dark matter is overwhelming, despite the fact that there is still some doubt regarding the nature of dark matter. Alternative theories, such as MOND, have not been able to provide a full explanation. But the hypothesis of dark matter has been quite successful in explaining a wide range of observations. As a result, it is fair to draw the conclusion that dark matter exists in an unadulterated form and that it plays a significant part in determining the structure and development of the universe.